Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law. Please subscribe to our channel. One of our uh, clients, an old client of ours actually, been with us for a long time, always asking uh, very interesting questions, wanted to know whether or not if the other party is essentially dangerous to your child, is that a reason for you to get uh, full legal custody? Well, the thing is like this. The court in judging legal custody is not so much as looking as where the child is going to sleep every night, so much as who's got the responsibility for making major decisions. And by major decisions, I don't mean what the child is going to wear to school. I mean decisions about medical issues, religious issues, academic issues. Major decisions have to be made in the child's life. That's called the legal custody. Uh, in a normal situation, parents, of course, weigh in equally on that issue. But if you have one parent who is engaged in activities particularly dangerous to the child, then that level of parent, that level of judgment, that kind of person might not be the ideal person to be making, you know, major decisions regarding your child's welfare or weighing in on those decisions for that matter. So if you've got a situation like that, you, if you really feel that that person's dangerous lifestyle is such that they cannot reasonably participate in important decision making regarding the child and you have joint custody, you got to file a motion to change that custody. You have to contact your attorney and then file a motion to modify the custody from a joint legal to a sole legal so that you can call those shots. Now the court will have to will want to know well, what's changed here? Why all of a sudden are we trying to make this radical change and really take the other person completely out of the decision making loop? And you'll have to say, look, uh, he or she is taking on a life of crime. Uh, the people that they hang out with are felons. Uh, this, this person became addicted to heroin. This person is not responsible enough to make decisions about themselves, let alone decisions about a child. Words to that effect, arguments to that effect, those kind of presentations that will make the court say, you know what? we got to rethink this. we got to look at this again. And maybe dad should have full custody, not share the, the legal custody. Maybe mom deserves 100% of the authority rather than sharing it. If you have any questions about that, reach out, and of course, we'll be glad to help you out.